In this video, we'll look at the Lewis structure for PI5. This is phosphorus pentaiodide. So I've already drawn it out here, and we'll look at this Lewis structure and explain why this is the best or most likely Lewis structure, and then look at the molecular geometry and bond angles for PI5. For phosphorus, that's in group 15, sometimes called 5A. That has five valence electrons. Iodine, group 17, that has seven. We have five iodine atoms. Five plus 35, 40 total valence electrons for the PI5 Lewis structure. So I put a pair of electrons between each iodine and then the phosphorus atom here. So this bond here, this is the bond between the phosphorus and iodine, and this represents two valence electrons. It's a single bond. Phosphorus can have more than eight valence electrons. We have two, four, six, eight, ten. So that's okay. Then I put the remaining electrons around each iodine to complete the octet for each iodine. So once I've done that, all the iodines, they have eight valence electrons. And then the phosphorus in the center, it has more than eight, but that's okay. It can have an expanded octet. If you count up all these electrons around the iodine atoms in the bond here, you get 40. So we've used all of our electrons. This is a good Lewis structure for phosphorus pentaiodide. If you calculate the formal charges, you'll see there's zero for each atom. So we have our Lewis structure. Let's talk about the molecular geometry. We have a total of five atoms bonded to the central phosphorus here, and we don't have any lone pairs. So the purple, that'll be our central phosphorus atom. We're gonna add five iodine atoms. One, two, you see they spread out to be as far away as they can from each other. Three, four, right now we have a tetrahedral molecular geometry. And then we add the fifth one. And we end up with what's called a trigonal bipyramidal molecular geometry. And you can see the bond angles here. The bond angles for the equatorial atoms, the ones here on the equator, those would be 120. If we wanted to look at the electron geometry, it would also be trigonal bipyramidal because we don't have any lone pairs. Let's go back to our Lewis structure. We could also use the AXE notation to figure out the molecular geometry here for PI5. A, that's the central atom, our phosphorus, X, that's the number of atoms attached to it. We have five of those iodine atoms. And then E, that would be the number of lone pairs. We don't have any. You'll often see this written then just AX5. If you look up AX5, you'll find out you have a trigonal bipyramidal molecular geometry, just like we found before. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure, bond angles, and molecular geometry for PI5, phosphorus pentaiodide. Thanks for watching.